Recently, DeepSeek has been making lots of headlines. So what's going on? DeepSeek is a Chinese AI company. They just released one of their model called DeepSeek R1, which competes with Urban AI's closed source O1. Let's look at some of the details. You may already hold that the insane benchmarking here is the DeepSeek R1. It compares it with Urban AI, and uh, we can see that in most of the case, it is on par with Urban AI. Some of them are better than that. Wow, that's quite amazing. And uh, one additional thing about that is that the cost it uh, cost about one twentieth of the cost of Urban AI. So that's quite amazing. And uh, one of the biggest news, I think, is that it's totally open source. You can check out their technical papers. You can look at the code yourself. You can get the model on Hugging Face. You can get everything there. And uh, one of the easiest way to run it is that uh, you can using Olama to run it. You don't even need a GPU to run it locally. So you don't need to worry about uh, your data privacy issues. The best thing about Olama is that it's cross-platform. It can be either MacBook, Windows, or Linux. As long as you have a CPU, you were able to run that. I will show you how it performs on MacBook. Once you go to the Olama page, you find the models, you can get the DeepSeek R1. And you will see that there are several different versions. They are basically similar. The only difference is of the file size. As you can see that the original model is the Last one, 671 billion parameters. It's really, really big. Not everyone is able to run that. It depends on the size of your memory. Let's start with the smallest sized one, the 1.5 billion. Once you enter the command, Olama run deepseek r1 1.5b, you add the flag verbose. It will start uh, to download uh, the models. It's about uh, 1.1 1 .1 gigabytes, so it shouldn't uh, take a very long time. So now it's loading the models, loading the configure files, verify, and then it is able to start accepting your queries, your prompts. And I will open the RAM and the GPU monitoring board. And as you can imagine, because it's very, very small, so I suppose the speed is really, really fast. Okay, so I'm asking to how many letter are in the word strawberry. We see the Outputting speed is really, really fantastic. It's faster than what I can read, and the speed is 76.64 tokens per second, and uh, it got it correct. Wow, that's amazing. You see that uh, it is also printed out uh, the syncing, the reasoning steps. It just uh, sync as a human being, like uh, from the uh, step, it also can do some of the reflecting. So I, I feel like it's really, really nice for such a small sized model. Next, let's try the 8 billion parameters model. You only need to change 1.5 to 8. It's uh, significantly slower than that, but uh, just still very, very fast. And we can see that uh, the speed is 23 tokens per second, although it got the answers uh, incorrect. It says that it only appears twice. 
Lastly, I want to show you how it performs for the 32 billion parameters model. And we can see that uh, it's uh, significantly slower than the previous model. That's uh, understandable. And uh, let, let's look at uh, the RAM, the memory usage. You can see that it uses uh, around 86% total. So it's uh, around uh, 20 gigabytes for the model. The GPU is at uh, full utilization, 100%. And we see that uh, it uh, printed out all the reasoning steps. Wow, just like uh, human beings thinking about it. In the end, you will see that uh, it also prints out uh, the speed. The evaluation rate is 6.15 tokens per second, and it also got uh, the questions uh, answered correctly. What's an uh, amazing performance by that, right? I think it's totally local. You can try whatever prompt you want. All right, I hope that uh, you can find this video helpful. If you would like, please subscribe to my channel and sum up the video. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And also, please post your speed on the comments so other people can see that. So I think that can be very, very useful. One additionally, in future video, I will introduce one of the web UI for Olama. I think it's very, very helpful. You can use that just like OpenAI's ChatGPT. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.